Alright, welcome back everyone. Once again, my name is Matt, and we are doing a let's play of Sonic Adventure DX for the GameCube, in case uh, anyone was wondering, because I know there's this for the PC, uh, there's the one for the actual Dreamcast, and then most recently the one on the 360, so that's what we're doing, in case uh, anyone was wondering. Where do I actually have to go? In the last episode, we, uh, we got the power-up ring boots. So in this episode, we have to... Oh, I know where we have to go. We have to go into the hotel. At least I believe this is where we have to go. Um, where am I? I am not in the right area. There we go. Alright. If I remember correctly, there is a sort of... It's either a level or there's a power-up. Up these stairs in the hotel. So, if I could get up there, that'd be great. Alright. Yeah, this one open. Yeah, see, there's a power up up there, and it's not like a time thing. All right, there's a way to do this to do it right. Let's see if I can get it first try. Go, 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 go! Ah, you s friggin' camera angle. All right, we can get this. Yes, all right, we got it. And this is. I have no idea what this is. It's a bracelet. This is the crystal It's a crystal ring, ring actually. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed. Oh, okay. Flash. It releases the blah blah blah. You get you get what it says. So that's uh helpful, I guess. <laughs> All right, where else are we going? We're we going out here. That's the pool. We don't need to go to the pool. I don't believe so. Uh, we don't need to go in the elevators just yet. Is this where I want to go? Yes. I believe this is the next. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing. Maybe not. Maybe we do have to go to the Mystic Ruins next. Kind of. Yeah. I kind of thought we had to go up here. Yep. All right. That's what we had to do. We had to open up the casino. Sorry. I'm trying to think on what we have to do while I'm uh, going through this. Anyway, stage three, Casino Opolis. If I'm correct, this is actually a really annoying stage. Yeah, we have to get the Chaos Emerald, and the only way to do that, I believe, is to get... Go into, like, the safe room right here. Yep. And we have to dump a crap load of rings into this. And, um... Let's see if I can get the camera. And you get up there, pretty much. Probably is actually a way that you can actually glitch up there. Actually, I don't think there is. But anyways, so that's what you have to do. Um, it takes quite a bit of coins. So I'll go through the... Basically, you get like a couple, a couple coins like this, and then you come back into here, and uh, you step on the button. A giant claw comes down, and it mugs you. You get mugged. And then, as you can tell, it uh, if I can move the camera in a second, can I move the camera? All uh, right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. As you can tell, it. All right. Well, maybe not. Well, it's supposed to fill up there, as you can see, but I guess three rings isn't a lot. Yeah, so basically you just have to collect as many rings as you can. I believe there's actually a really easy way to get up one of these rings. So let me see if I can find where I'm looking for right now. I think you have to go to the, yeah, you have to go to the slot machine. And once in the slot machine, you have to, like, basically lose, pretty much. So I'll, I'll go through this once, and then I will cut until we get enough rings. And then we will continue on, I guess. Alright, here we go. And, okay, I got one. I got 3k. Or, yeah, whatever. And I didn't get anything at time because I'm horrible. Alright, let's go. Ooh, almost had three Eggmans there. That would have been bad. I gotta get again. Almost had three Tails. That would have been, been awesome, I think. That gives you quite a bit of rings, I think. So yeah, your best bet is the, uh, the slot machine right here, or the pinball machine, I guess. And if you fall down the drain, I think you actually go into like a mini level type thing. And then once in the mini level, you actually get a ton of rings in there, as long as you don't get hit by anything and lose them all. I think that's how I used to uh, beat this level. So can I actually do something here? Alright, can we go up there? No? Yes? Maybe? Alright, here we go. I actually don't know where this brings us. Okay, we're in one of these little area type things. How do we get in there? Alright, I guess you don't. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, that's tilting the machine. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. 
And nothing. Crap. There's probably an art to that, and I just, uh, I can't do it. Come on. I want to show off this level real quick before I, uh, cut the video. Let's see if, uh, where are we going? Alright, there we are. We're up at the top. Alright, we got our first 100 rings, which equals a extra life. Nothing? Darn. Yeah, you don't get anything for getting, like, all three, uh, main characters, which you kind of should, honestly. I think you should. Because, I mean, how often is that going to happen compared to how often you're going to get, like, a three of a kind? Well, I guess, I mean, whatever. You get the point. You get the point. Come on, hurry up. This takes forever. This is probably one of the longer, longest stages. And one of the more annoying. There we go, we got something. What does that do to us? Because it's a bunch of rings. Oh, and it blocks the, uh, the... What's the word I'm looking for? Where am I? Oh, there I am. It blocks the uh, the exit down there. As you can see, there's like a little counter now. It blocks that for the rest of the 30 seconds. Nothing. Crap. All right. So you really want to get all three rings. That's a jackpot, and that's really good. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> that'll give you a ton of rings and make this a lot easier. I think you have to get like 300 to 400 rings to fill up the room. I'm not entirely sure on this, but. The pinball and, um, actually, I think it might be more than that. Oh, wow, okay, I just failed. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm up there. Okay. Wow, okay, I got a ton of rings. I don't even know how that happened. I don't know if there's actually a way to exit this pinball machine whenever you want to. Aw, oh, crap. Alright, that was, cl was close. Can you exit the... No, okay, you can't. You have to actually, like, die, I think. So I'm just gonna die so I can hopefully keep my 200 rings. Alright, there we go. So I'll show this off real quick as I uh, just dump these out. And then you can see tails in the back over there. So see, yeah, that was a lot. So I think I think it's 400. But uh, basically the goal is to fill up the room. So I showed you probably one of the fastest ways to do it. So I'll be back when uh, we're done with that. Uh, we'll see you then. All right, and we're back. I, as you can see, I got 332 rings. That I think that should be more than enough to get the emerald. So let's go ahead and find out. I think that should be good. Let's go see. And there we have it. Very, very easy level. Not hard at all. It takes a little long. As you can see, it took me uh, about 13 minutes total but I probably got way yeah, more rings than I needed to so what are you gonna do so let's find out what's next for us at station square that looks like an ice stone if I'm not mistaken could be a water stone I actually don't remember what it's officially called but I know that we're going to need to get it. Yeah. Oh, and what do you know? Hey, that's our Chaos Emerald. Quick, get it. Sleeping gas. Or poison of some sort. So, there we go. We spent all that time getting a Chaos Emerald, only to get it stolen 30 seconds later. Good job. Congratulations. And our legs twitch out. <laughs> oh man, what happened to that emerald we just? Well, it had? just got stolen. Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's. What other one? That guy must be. He, he took both of them. That means his two to our one, and that. Oh, I didn't know he had one in the first Come place. On, Whoops. Sonic, we need to get I need to start paying attention to this game more. I love how he like blames us for it. <laughs> So let's go get that thing back here. What is this? The ice stone. Alright, I was correct the first time. So obviously you know where we have to bring this, probably. We have to bring this back to... Where was the other place we were going to? I actually don't. Uh, Mystic Ruins, I believe. So let's get in the train, head off to Mystic Ruins, and find out where we have to place the ice stone. As we pause and wait. Oh look, rocks blew up. 
We obviously don't have to go over there. <laughs> Alright, so let's get over there. With our ice stone. Where is it? It's right here. We ran straight into it. Go. Get up there. Alright. Move the camera a little bit. There we go. Thank you. And get up there, you noob. Where? Okay, actually, I don't have to put, put it here. Where do I actually have to put this thing? I actually don't remember. Oh, can I already jump up this? Oh, see? Pfft. Genius. Can I already jump up this stupid thing? Obviously. Here we go. Let's... Alright, can we... <laughs> can't walk... Okay. Wow. Put this down there. The key is floating! Oh no! Alright, let's go. Booyah. This is actually a really fun stage, I think, up ahead. So, I... We'll go and do it. Look how I climb the ladder really, really fast. Ice cap action stage. So I think I'll just do this action stage and then we'll, we'll call it a day. This is actually a fairly easy stage. I think it's a snowboarding stage, if I am not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. I could have swore there was snowboarding involved. Huh. I guess I was wrong. What is that annoying noise? that I hear. I'm on an icicle. Oh, crap. I'm not on an icicle. Oh, that's what I hear. Alright, where... What am I doing? Focus, man. Focus. How did I not... Alright. Icicle. Icicle. These levels get a lot uh, more intricate, I guess that you could say, as they go on. Some of them are rather fun, though. Um, I like the ones where you mainly just run faster, though. Those are my favorite. I could have sworn this level was snowboarding, like the entire time. Maybe I went like a different direction than I normally could. That I've never known about before. Whoa. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to use my light dash thing about. But since I didn't, there's a giant floaty death snake. I don't like giant floaty death snakes. Let's get over there. Come on. You can do it, man. I believe in you. I believe in you. Alright. Let's not get hit by the giant spikes of death. That's a bad thing. It's arrows pointing this way, so we're on the right track. Let's get this thing. Ten rings. Yay! Let's go down here. Alright, he's more, more stalactite ice jumping. Actually, these would be icicles, technically. Unless they're made out of stone, and I just can't tell. But I'm pretty sure those are stalactites. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Be careful not to fall off, and then they just give you, like, a friggin' block of ice. Am I supposed to go up this? I'm gonna assume that I'm supposed to. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna say that was a yes. Use the panel to jump. And more jumping panels. Ooh, I just broke something. Whoa! Alright, almost died. I really hope this isn't a long level, because I expected this to be the snowboarding level. And that's actually not a, that's actually a kind of a sh Oh, maybe it is. Alright, yeah. Okay, it is the snowboarding level then. Yeah, there just happens to be a snowboard there, just so... So we can escape. Booyah, I'm so rad! Look at how awesome I am. I actually have been snowboarding, uh... Actually, it was a while ago. It was like two years ago when I went. I spent the whole day on, like, the training hill. It's like, it was my first time going snowboarding, so I spent the whole day on like a training hill and everything with another friend of mine who was also a first time snowboarding. By the end of the time, man, I was, I was, I owned that training hill, bunny hill as they called it, I, I owned that bunny hill. I was the best on that bunny, I actually had a private lesson too. Well technically it wasn't a private lesson, but like, because we weren't like a huge group, so it was like, it was like a free lesson and like, I think it was only me and like a few other kids who ne never gone snowboarding before so of course I took the lesson just because I wanted to uh I actually kind of wanted to learn I mean it was it was worth the lesson it definitely helped obviously because my other friend who didn't take the lesson you know by the end of the day you could tell that I had I had a little bit more I don't want to say experience but I guess I had a few more tips that I was able to use and uh be able to what are the heck those are freaking rockets that I guess helped out towards the end of the day. So, you know, it was definitely a fun day. But I was so sore the next day afterward, just from all the times of just falling and 
you know, eating snow, pretty much. That wasn't fun, but overall it was really fun. I would totally do it again, but I haven't had a chance to. I mean, if you live in Connecticut, obviously, it's snowing, like, all the freaking time, so... <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get this. Yes, we got it. It's It pretty much snows a lot in Connecticut. I really hate it here, but <laughs> just the snow is annoying. That's why I took a vacation to Florida. It was nice and warm that entire time, and we are falling to our death. It was nice and warm the entire time down there. It was, just, it was great. I love Florida. We go there pretty much, like, every year, I think, so... And there just happens to be a Chaos Emerald at the end of this mountain. How we found this, I have no idea. Oh crap, and I already did 10 minutes of this. I actually might have to cut in the middle. Oh dear, not that's not good at all. Either that or I'm going to have to cut a lot in the beginning to make this fit into 15 minutes. I can't upload over 15 minutes. I choose not to because I don't think anyone would ever want to watch over 15 minutes of me talking and playing a game at the same time. But I think I'm going to call it that. Oh, I'm going to drown. So I think I'm going to call it for this episode, and I will see you guys later.